Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you some of my favorite educational apps and technology for preschoolers and toddlers. I have quite a few gadgety bits. I'm a very tech geeky kind of person. So I tend to use technology for my children for educational purposes as much as I can. Obviously my kids also watch Baby Shark and toy unboxing on YouTube, but I like to introduce as much educational content as possible and make it fun so that they think they're still having fun, but they're also learning something. So I have lots of things to share with you. I've got iPads, I've got a new interesting educational toy that I think your kids will love. And I also have some flashcards and books as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna put timestamps on this video for everything that I mentioned so that you can just press the timestamp on the comments below and it will take you straight to each product. So hopefully that will make it easier to navigate if you don't have much time and you just wanna see one specific item that I'm mentioning. And yeah, hope you enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. I post weekly videos about parenting, lifestyle, beauty. So I hope you will subscribe to my channel. And now let's get straight into the video. So I'm gonna start with probably the most interesting piece of technology that we have for our children. And it's this little thing here called Looney. This is a storyteller. So it's a bit like a radio, but it's also interactive. And I was sent this by the brand and when they told me what the product was, I was so excited. I'm not being paid to talk about this. This is not a sponsored video. They just sent me this to see if I would like it and I love it. James uses this, I'd say once a week at bedtime. I don't like to give it to him every night because otherwise he'd stay awake all night. The best thing about this is that you can give your child some you know, interaction Active, entertaining educational time without it being on a screen so if you're really trying to limit your child's screen time this is a great way for them to kind of feel like they're getting the benefits of a screen like an iPad or a phone or something but not actually getting the damaging effects of a screen like the blue light which in great quantities can be harmful for children and also that addictive side of screens and um, tablets and phones. So the way that it works is that it comes loaded up with loads and loads of stories and you can also download more stories on the Looney website and there's like a little charging port here which also doubles as a transfer cable so you can plug it into your computer and then transfer some stories onto the Looney. And then there's also a headphone jack and this is your on and off button. So the off is completely turned the volume down and then the on turns the volume up. So if I turn it on, you'll be able to start to hear it. So when you press the OK button, it will give you a choice of who you want to be that story about, Suzanne or Ben. At the moment, we only have these two characters. So you turn this little dial here, which will allow you to choose if you want Suzanne or Ben. And then next, it will ask you, where do you want this story to take place? In a castle, in a farm, at home? And then you twist to choose where you want the story. And then you choose an object. What do you want the story to be about? So it'd be like a crown or about, I don't know, um, a place of food whatever so that will then make the story for you and then the child can listen to that story which they kind of helped make which I think makes it so much fun and interesting for them because they're not listening to the same story every time once the story finishes they can choose a completely different outcome by choosing a different person a different place and a different object so I love this for James. I think Isabella is a little bit too young for this. She's only two, but James is four and he loves interacting with this. I usually let him have this on a Saturday night because he can stay awake a bit longer, kind of listening to the stories. He just really likes it. And I think it's really educational because they are listening, paying attention to stories, but they don't have to have a screen. I'll leave a link below to Looney for you to check it out. If you have you know, a nephew or a niece as well, or a grandchild, I think this would be a great birthday present and something definitely unexpected that most parents don't know about. And they would be delighted that you, their child is getting some educational content without it being a screen. Now moving on to screens, because we know we can't avoid them. 
but if used properly they can actually be a great resource for your children to learn and to develop lots and lots of skills. So what I try to do is use educational apps as much as possible for my children and I'm going to share some of my favorites with you today. I'm going to start by telling you which devices we have. So we have a regular, I think it's 9.7 inches iPad. This is a new iPad so we bought it recently and it supports Apple Pencil which is great because that's the reason why we bought this iPad so James can practice his pencil grip and writing properly so it's been great for that and I use that for work as well and we also have an iPad mini that we give to the children to do some independent play so if they want to watch a YouTube video if they want to play on any of the apps that I'm going to mention this is what we give to them it's quite an old one it's a first generation iPad mini but it still works and we're not too precious about it knowing that it's so old it's probably not worth that much nowadays but it's perfect for the kids to use and this case is from Amazon it really protects the iPad as well so I'll leave it linked below so in terms of the main educational apps that we use on this big iPad we have a folder called James and we have all of the apps that we use for like learning and writing and reading for him my favorite one is called pocket phonics stories to get the full version of this app you do have to pay but you get seven days free trial of the full version before you do pay and I ended up buying it because we love it so much and I think it's helped James a lot with his reading and his writing so this is the first level that your child works on and it's the letters S A T P I N and when you press play it will show you how to write the letter and then the child actually goes and traces and writes the letter and that's why I think the Apple Pencil has been great because it's helped him not only see how the letter is formed but properly practice writing instead of just doing it with his finger and then you move on to the next letter. James absolutely loves getting the feedback and knowing he's doing a good job. In every word that he masters, he gets a new coin. So he's like constantly working towards getting the next coin. And then you move on to the next step, which is to read stories. Once you advance through the levels, it gives you proper sentences that your child can practice reading. If they don't know how to read a specific word, they can tap on it and it will spell it out for them and it will sound out the word as well. So I love this because this is all in British English as well and because James lives in the UK and is learning British English it's, it's good for him to learn the exact way that he's learning in school. He's doing really well, he's currently on level 11 and sounding out the special friends letters which is great to see him do it and to kind of like show to me how much he's learning in school and applying it to the app. So I tend to use this when he wants to use the iPad and I say to him, why don't you go and do your hard work? And he loves it. He gets that screen time, but he also gets a lot of education from it. And I feel like it's a way for me to spend quality time with him as well, because I love doing this with him and seeing how far he's come and how much he can read and write. So we absolutely love this app. It's probably my most recommended, like the top recommended app if your child is between the ages of three and four, learning to read and write and you just want something that will be able to kind of support what they're learning in school. The next app that we like, it's called Writing Wizard. This one is a free app, but we had to pay for the full version because what we wanted this app to do was for him to be able to write his own words. So he wanted to practice writing words that he knows and the Pocket Phonics app doesn't let you practice specific words. And this one, you can create your own words. So you can write word lists and you can record your voice sounding out that word. So James absolutely loves doing that. He puts all the words that he likes seeing and reading and writing. So he puts his name, Isabella, mummy, daddy, vovo, grandma, grandpa, sloth, gorilla, which is like his favorite animals. And then he can tap onto these words and it will, you know, show how the word is written and sounded by him. And then he just traces onto the letters. Now this one won't help your child write as much because it's not sort of like real precision work. You're just touching where you know, the little arrow should go, um, but it's not re giving you real feedback of how well you're tracing that word. It's more of like a fun sort of 
a little bit teaching you how to write but not much but it's just exciting because after you do all of this writing then you can interact with the bits on the screen which he absolutely loves it's like so much fun to just move the things around and there's lots of different patterns as well so if you choose another word um, so like this one is a tiger oh even I'm not doing this right I keep telling him to do it slowly so he doesn't make a mistake and I'm not following my own advice here so once you finish then you know like there's lots of things that you can do you can move all the other bits around and he absolutely loves sort of like playing with these bits so that is the second app that we like called Writing Wizard. The third one we like is called Zapped Phonics. This one is totally free and it's great if you just want to see if your child likes this kind of writing app but you're not sure you don't want to commit to spending money. So you have lots of different options. We usually go for writing and words. So if you go to phase one it will give you the letters and then it will show your child how to write it and then they will just trace it like the other apps that I showed you. So this is a great sort of like introduction to using the Apple Pencil on a free app for your child. It's really good sort of like gives you proper feedback. It then gets them to recognize the order of the words so they it says a word for them and they have to put the letters in the right order and it's just a really great um, free app to try and we like this one as well. Um, right, let's see what's next. I have here Jolly Phonics, which I downloaded when I first got this iPad. This is not as interactive for children, so it's very bland and sort of like it doesn't have anything that they can do. It's just showing you um, how the word sounds, how the letter sounds, what the proper letter formation is. So it's good to show to them, but it's not as good for him to practice. And it also has words that sound with that letter and a little song for them to learn how to um, sound that letter. So I suppose it's an interesting app more for parents to teach their children than for the children to learn themselves like how to do it properly. So these are all sort of like the educational apps that I use to teach James how to read and write and the ones that I feel are worth the money for us. Now on to the actual like play apps that he plays with on this little iPad. So as you can see it's a whole screen full of like games and things for children and then on the next screen I just have one folder called apps and I put everything else that they're not allowed to play with on that folder on another page. So when they open they can go onto this page and use whatever they want to use. So most of the apps that I have for the kids are from this company app developer called Beamibo and I just downloaded the lot all of the apps I think it was a bundle that I paid was it either $7.99 or $9.99 for all of the apps and I downloaded these just before we went on our holiday to Brazil last year because I wanted something that they were able to play offline with and not have to, do, to rely on internet connection and these apps are really good there's a, a variety of things to do there's coloring there's drawing there's puzzles um lots of different games like animals another develop that i like is the magister apps again i bought a bundle of these apps but one that james loves playing is called archaeologist and you just basically find like dinosaur bones and remains and things in the snow or whatever and um, yeah I think he likes playing with this a lot. So these are all the apps and kind of tech gadgety things that we use with the kids. I only have two more things to show you which are not apps but they are things that we love for teaching James how to read and write and I think they are absolutely amazing resources. The first is this collection of books from Songbirds, uh, Julia Don Donaldson. I bought this from the book people and it was recommended to me by James's teacher and she said that it's great resources, they use that in the nursery and it's great for the whole of the foundation phase. So it's colour-coded books depending on the stage that your child is. Um, so the stage one is the purple books, stage two are the green books and then so on so forth but what's great about these books is that they are for independent reading so instead of it being storybooks that you read to your children they are books that they can 
start reading by themselves because the words are quite easy for them and it's things that they're learning in school and James absolutely loves reading these books to us. He feels amazing knowing that he can actually read these little stories. It starts kind of like really easy and then it gets harder as you move on through the stages and the level. So I just bought the whole collection. So I thought I'd mention these because they came highly recommended and I just want to pass on the recommendation and especially getting from the book people saved me a lot of money. I think I paid something like 13 pounds for the whole thing and it was down from a hundred and odd pounds if you were to buy every single book in the collection which is about two pounds for each book so if you buy on the book people website you save a lot of money and another thing which i've already mentioned in one of my videos i think it was my favorite books for toddlers and preschoolers is the flashcards that we use so we got these from tk maxx but i'll leave a link below to them on amazon these are the miles kelly phonics sight words we do this at bedtime and we encourage him to kind of challenge himself and do the harder ones as well not just stay with the easy ones but we start with the easy ones to build up his confidence so you have the word at the front and at the back you have a little sentence using that word so he can put that into content context it's all color coded as well so you know the difficulty of each word based on the color and we absolutely love this james loves using it and i feel like it's really helped him with his spelling and reading and we got his school report today and it just made me cry because there were so many great things said about his literacy and the way that he's reading and writing and how well he's doing much better than he should be doing for nursery and i just like oh my gosh all this time that we spend doing these little activities that you think you don't know if it's doing anything but it's actually helping him and he's doing so well so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found some useful resources to use with your children. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and leave on the comments below your own recommendations for things that you use with your toddlers and preschoolers that you think other mums and dads should know about. I would love to know what you use, what kind of apps you use with your children, if I'm missing out on any apps that I should have and also any books and yeah, resources like that. I'll leave linked below another video that I did about storybooks and things like that for toddlers and preschoolers if you want to know more about the sort of like the traditional storybook types things that we like and i will see you in my next video bye